Yay! Okay, I'm live. Um, it took me a minute to figure this out, how to do this. You guys, I haven't gone live on anything in so long. All right, I have a little um, list of things that I was going to talk to you guys about tonight. I am so glad you guys are here. As you're jumping on, be sure to say hey and let us know where you're watching from. Hey, Brooke. All right, you're the first one to hop on. <laughs> I was wondering if it was even working. Okay, I know a lot of people are busy, um, but let me know if you're watching. Say hey, where are you watching from? Um, if somebody invited you, let me know who invited you. Just give them a little shout out. If you're watching the replay, make sure to let me know that as well. So that way I can see who was here for the live and then also who's getting to watch it back. Um, I am so excited, yay, I'm so glad you guys are here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this really quick because I know a lot of you are busy and also if you're watching the replay back, I don't want it to be like a bazillion years long because I talked about this the other day, but I can talk and talk and talk and talk and it'll get boring. So I'm gonna try to be like super quick I have a whole list of things right here so I don't get off track because I definitely will get off track. <laughs> um, but yay, I'm so glad you guys are here. All right, so first of all, this group is private and honestly, I did it by accident. I made it private by accident, but I kind of wanted it to be private because I wanted you guys to know that this is our little community, okay? So no matter how many people join, um, it's going to be our little community. I want you guys to feel like you can ask questions in here. You can share your pictures, your before and afters, um, any troubleshooting. So this is going to be a place where we can all kind of help each other out. Some of you have already been wearing Saint. Some of you were customers a long time ago with someone else that maybe isn't an artist anymore. So you probably know even more about Saint than I do. You probably have even more tips and tricks than I do, so I want this to be where we can actually help each other out. Um, if you're new and you have questions, then this is a place where you can come and just get all that information. And then of course, when new things come out, I will be sharing them here. Um, I wanna share lots of videos and how-tos, all that kind of stuff, because if you know me and you know my story, I have never been a big makeup person, so for me to be doing this is kind of crazy, you guys. Like, never in a million years would I be telling or think that I would be telling anybody else how to put on makeup because makeup has scared me to death my entire life. So basically, I never really wore it, and if I did, I usually, I mean, I had like foundation, but I hardly ever put that on. I actually use BB cream more than anything, but. I didn't know what I was doing. And then honestly, I don't think I've ever even gone into an Ulta to shop. That might be crazy, but I think I've actually walked around in an Ulta one time, but I never bought anything. Actually, no, I take that back. I bought a hair straightener. <laughs> so I didn't buy any makeup, but that's how much of a non-makeup girl I was. I would slap on some like BB cream, maybe a little blush, um, a little bronzer, and some mascara, and that was about it. So. This is crazy that I'm even sharing this makeup, but I found it over a year ago. So it was actually last March and I was influenced by a girl on TikTok and decided to give it a try after watching a bazillion different videos. I was like, this looks way too easy. And she's gonna tell me what all I need to get. So I'm just gonna get it and try it. And then if it doesn't work out, then I'll just make sure that, you know, people know it didn't work for me. So anyways, I got it followed her little tutorial to a T and it was the easiest thing ever. It blended out like magic and I was just so impressed. So six months later, I had already been sending all these people to her. I'd already been talking about it and sending all these people to this other girl. And then I met my friend Heather, who is now my direct. So after talking to her for a little while, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just use this like an affiliate link. I'm already talking about it all the time anyways. I can, you know, use it like an affiliate link. Not really worried about building a team or anything. Um, but I'll just use it as an affiliate link since I'm already talking about it. So that's kind of where I started. And then now, six months later, here I am. And I actually have a team of some girls who joined me. They reached out to me and they're amazing. It's so much fun. I'm loving it and I'm loving that I get to just play with makeup and share with you guys something that's so simple and easy 
And honestly, such a game changer, especially if you're a busy mama or you're like me and you just are clueless about makeup, this is such a game changer. Okay, so first of all, another thing I was influenced to buy from TikTok is this little headband. I used to have one of those, you know those headbands that go like all the way around and it was just always bothering me. So I saw some girl, Emily, on TikTok. You guys probably know who she is, but she like blew up on TikTok and she wore, wore these and I was like, oh, that's cute. So I got it off of Amazon. Another thing I was influenced to buy. So, but I do love it. I love it that it keeps my hair out of my face and I can see like my whole face without like having to constantly push my hair back. So anyways, we're going to jump into this, you guys. I'm going to, like I said, try not to be too long, but basically what Saint is, is this is my little palette. So all of my makeup is right here in this palette. And I see a whole bunch of you jumping on. I don't know if you're commenting or not. I just see your names. So, um... For some reason, I can't see any actual comments, but hopefully they'll show up sooner or later. But anyway, so this is all my makeup, okay? So I have my contour, my, so this is, I'm going to actually show you as I'm putting everything on. So this is my contour color, and I never contoured in a day in my life until I got this makeup, you guys. I didn't know what contour was, but basically it's just wherever you want shadows on your face to make you look a little bit, you know, skinnier, maybe take a little, like five pounds off, whatever. Um, so that's going to be your contour. You've got a brightening highlight, which you can think of as a concealer. Then you've got your main highlight, which you can think of as your foundation. And then we've got some lip and cheek colors. I also have a bronzer. This is just like a little lip balm. And so all of my creams are on the top. And basically when you get your makeup in, it won't come in your palette already. You'll pick whatever size palette you want. This is the 18. Um, they have a smaller palette. This is the size eight palette. And so you can fit four of the bigger tins on the top and then four on the bottom. And then, so when your makeup comes in, they're going to come in these little magnetic tins. And you're just going to slide it right out. And then you can set up your palette however you want. You'll just pop it right in there like that. Okay? So I have all of my creams on the top, which is a great tip. All of my, sorry, this is the top. All of my creams are right here on the top. And then all of my powders, which is my, I've got a couple of illuminators here. I've got a setting powder, and then we've got some eyeshadows, okay? Um, but like I said, there's different sizes. This was the 810. There's a 12, which is the most ordered, the most highly recommended one, especially if you're starting out. Um, but then there's also a 410, but that's like very, very basic. You, I started with the eight, my first order, and I ended up getting, so I got the two highlights, the contour, a few lip and cheek colors, and the bronzer, and I think an illuminator. So all of that did fit in here, but I didn't get any eyeshadows to start with, or maybe I did, I can't remember, but all of it didn't end up fitting, and so I ended up getting a bigger palette later, which is totally fine because now I have like a bunch of palettes, but this is the newest one, isn't it pretty? Um, okay, I'm going to jump into some makeup now and quit talking your heads off. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually apply it with my fingers. These are all of my brushes and I did wash them up and I've got mascara. So basically, I have everything for my face in this palette except for my mascara, okay? Um, and these are all my brushes and yes, I've built them up. I started with just the 3 brush. Um, this is the 3D brush, and the good thing about the brushes, though, is that they're double-ended, so what you would pay for, like, a really good brush at Ulta or a really good brush off of Amazon, you actually get two for the price of one with these brushes, and they are really good. They should last you legit forever, um, unless you don't take care of them, but I cleaned all of these right before. If you saw my Instagram stories, you saw that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to use my fingers, which is how I started from the very first time I ever started like putting this makeup on. I just use my fingers and you're going to think I look crazy, but I promise you it's all going to come together like magic. So 
First color I'm going to use is my contour color. So I'm just going to take and dip it in there. And then I'm just going to start putting little dots all across the top. And it's going to look dark. And actually, I feel like I did put a lot on, but it's okay. It'll all blend out. So we're going to put your contour is where we want shadows. Okay, so this is the very first thing we're doing. So I'm putting it all across the top. I'm also going to put it right here, like where my cheekbone is. So you don't want it too low. I heard my friend Heather say the other day, if you put it too low, it'll look like you have a beard. <laughs> so you don't want a beard. Um, but basically, you're just going to contour right here, and it's going to suck you in. See that? And it is going to blend out in just a little bit, I promise. Um, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to make my nose look not so boxy, even though I really don't have a very big nose, but we're going to make it look good, okay? So we're going to put a little bit on this side, and then a little on the other side. All right, so that's how I'm contouring my nose. And then you can also plump your lips a little bit by putting it right underneath. And then let's get the jawline. You can do that too. So just down both sides. And you guys, I'm talking to you, so it's taken me a little bit longer to do my makeup because I'm talking to you all about it. But I promise you, I can do my makeup in like five minutes. It's crazy how fast it is. All right, I should have brought a little um, thing to wipe my fingers off, but it's okay. All right, so that was my contour. Not blending it yet. You're going to see the magic in just a little bit. All right, now I'm going in with my brightening highlight. So this is like my concealer. This is going to be my lighter highlight color. And if you need help picking your shades, I can color match you. There's going to be a color match form in the group, but I will also um, put it on this post too in case you need it. But basically, we're going to brighten down the center of the face. And so I'm just doing like my T-zone, okay? So down the center of my face. I'm also going to do a little bit right here in the corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to do it on the outside. And this kind of gives you a little bit of a lift without actually having a facelift, you guys. I've learned so much. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> and I feel like I'm talking to myself because I see all y'all on here, but I can't see any comments. Okay, so that is going to be your brightener. All right, now I'm going into my main highlight. So this is like your foundation color and I'm just gonna put little dots wherever I haven't put any makeup yet. So these are your basics, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys, like whenever I um, color match you, I'm gonna send you a list and it's gonna give you all of the basics that I recommend. And then I'm also going to give you a list of extras. The extras are not necessary, but um, I'll tell you which ones are my favorites and everything. So, okay, so those are all of my basics. And then you're going to definitely want like a lip and cheek color, which I'll do that in just a minute. But these are the first three basics. So you've got your contour, your brightening highlight, and then your main highlight. And then I'm just gonna take, this is the blush and bronzer brush. This is my absolute favorite. So if you want a highly recommended brush for me, this is my favorite. The first brush that I got was the 3D brush and this comes in some of the collections. And then this one comes in some of the other collections if you wanted to do that route. But if you wanna build your own palette, I highly recommend this one. Um, but everybody has their own preference, okay? So I'm gonna take, this one's like the fluffier end and this one's a little bit denser. I'm gonna take this in and I'm gonna start blending. Some people say to blend lightest to darkest, but basically I just go from like top to bottom of my face and guess what, it works. It works. All right, so I'm gonna start blending and as I blend, I'm kind of just stempling it into my skin because you don't wanna take your contour, you don't wanna bring your contour down and sag your face. So you want your colors to stay exactly where you put them. So sometimes I kind of go in circles at the top. Okay, so like I put on a good bit of contour, but look, it's all blending out. It's looking 
like magic, okay? It's going to all blend together and you're going to be shocked when you use this. Now this is totally different because it's a cream based makeup and we're all used to like the liquid, but this is cream so it's going to feel more like skin and um, I don't use like a primer or anything. Um, I never have and you know some of you might have one that you just really love but I've never needed a primer. Now I do have a setting spray which I will use in just a little bit and I'll show you that um, but I don't use anything else and I do now I did wash my face earlier and I moisturized and all of that but I will say just make sure if you do wash your face and you moisturize before putting your makeup on give it at least 10 minutes to set into your skin before you start applying your makeup, especially if you have oily skin, because cream on top of like the moisturizer, if it's not set into your skin, then it can make you look a little bit oilier. Oil, oilier. <laughs> All right, look. So it looks like my natural skin, but filtered, right? So I've got my contour. Look, it's all blended, okay. So next, this is an optional item, but I can't live without it. And that is my bronzer. So I'm gonna put lip and cheek on in just a minute, but I wanna put my bronzer on first. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it kind of where, wherever the sun would hit. You don't need a whole lot. And I'm using the Bella bronzer, which is the most popular one. Um, it's the one that people talk about the most. And then you want this above your contour. So I put my contour like right here. So I'm gonna go right above. And actually, I'm gonna show you guys a video tomorrow. I'm gonna put it on here so that you can use it later. Um, but I actually put all of my colors on at the same time. And then I blended. So you'll be able to see like the comparison of where my contour is versus my bronzer. All right, so now I'm just taking that same brush and I'm gonna use the fluffy end and just kinda um, blend it out. And you'll see, like, it just makes me look like I have a little bit of a sun-kissed look. This is great for summer. Um, and you can see, like, I didn't need it. It wasn't a necessity, but I just, I don't know. I love looking a little bronze, looking like I got a little tan. Um, and you can also bring that down your neck if you need to. You can put a little bit on your nose if you need to. All right, so that is the bronzer. And most people really love the Bella bronzer. If you have a lighter, like a really light complexion, then I would suggest tan lines as your bronzer. Okay, all right. So that's all blended in, and now I'm gonna do my lip and cheek color. And now the cool thing about the lip and cheek color is that it's for your cheeks, and you can use it as a lipstick. Um, the color I'm gonna use today is called Madrid. It's a very nude color. This is another one that's really good on a lot of people. And I'm just kind of putting it here on my cheekbones. So right here at the top. Um, and there's tons of different lip and cheek colors to choose from. Um, some people also use them as eyeshadows, but I don't really like cream eyeshadows, so I don't. All right, so now I'm gonna take, I put a little bit, a little lot on my nose. All right, I'm gonna take that smaller end of the blush and bronzer brush, and I'm just going to blend that out on my cheeks. And then, um, like I said, I'm gonna share a video tomorrow though that will, you'll be able to save for when you get your makeup in and you can use it like your little tutorial on how to put your makeup on. But I love doing the dots to start with and then people always, you know, play around with the makeup and end up finding their own way of putting everything on and whatever way fits them the best. So feel free to play around with it and do whatever you want. Um, in the video tomorrow, I'm actually using a little brush I'm using one of our, I think it's a, it's an eyeshadow brush. I'm actually using this brush to apply it in the video that I share tomorrow. And I do the same thing with dots, but with um, the brush instead of using my finger. Okay, so I have all the basics, plus I have 
the Bella bronzer on, and some more extras are the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna pop into just a few different eyeshadows, and I'm not a big eyeshadow person. I'm not that great at eyeshadows. I just like a regular old neutral look, so I'm gonna use three colors. I'll actually list the name of the colors of everything that I used in the description of the video when I'm done. Um, but I can't even remember them all, so I just have them in order of the ones that I'm using. So I'm going to use the lightest color, and I'm just using an eyeshadow brush here. And I'm just going to plop that all over my lid. And... There are so many different tutorials though on Instagram and TikTok and even Facebook with tons of different eyeshadow looks. So feel free to play around with those too, but I'll send you my favorites. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit um, of this lightest color in the corner of my eyes, okay? So this is just like gonna brighten it up a little bit and make my eyes look a little bit more open, I guess. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit under here. I think I do know the name of this one. I think it's Pup. All right, and like I said, you can, you can actually also use your um, Bella bronzer as eyeshadow if you wanted to, too. So you don't even have to get any eyeshadows, but I love playing around with different ones. I just, I don't know. All right, so now I'm gonna go into this second color. It's almost like a it's just a nude color. It's almost like a purpley color. And I'm going to put that all up here and try to make my eye look a little bit open. I don't know. I'm just telling you guys what I do. But I don't really know what I'm talking about when it comes to eyeshadows. So <laughs> I just do what everybody else says looks good. I kind of go through and like save different eyeshadow looks, which I can definitely put some um, in the group. Of different eyeshadow combinations that go good together all right and then I'm gonna go a, with a little bit darker color I learned this trick you're supposed to do like the darker color on the outside and if you have hooded eyes you want to like kind of do it with your eye open so it gets a little bit higher up and you can actually see the color and then I'm gonna so I'm using the smaller end to put the darker color on and you basically just want to do this on the outside of the eye. All right. I feel like I'm still talking to myself because I still can't see any comments. Um, I feel kind of silly, you guys. Not going to lie. All right. So then I'm going to take and blend that out. And look, it looks just neutral and pretty. Not too much, not too crazy. And you guys, I've learned over the last few months that there are a lot of you that are really good at makeup and you know what you're doing and you've taught me different things. Um, but most of you here are probably more like me where you just don't really know and you're just kind of playing around with things. So don't be afraid to try new things. All right. And then, actually, I think I am going to do, like, this little shimmery color. So, there's a shimmery little pink color. I think it's called Sis. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit on the top of my eyelid in the middle. And this one, like, the shimmery colors, you kind of want to apply with your fingers just because they're, they come off easier onto your finger and then onto the eyelid. All right, I'm going to blend that one more time. And then I promise I'm done with my eyes. All right, see how like they look so open? Oh, another trick is you can use um, eyeliner, but since I've gotten this, I did order an eyeliner. I have the eyeliner, but I don't ever use it anymore. Um, since I learned this little tip, you take a little bit of that darker eyeshadow and you can kind of run it underneath your eye and it's kind of like an eyeliner, but instead of like being super dark and on like that, your waterline, it's right underneath and it keeps your eyes looking like they're more open. Oh, I can see some comments. Ooh, thank you for being honest. Yes, I'm, you guys, I'm learning with y'all. 
And that's the fun part about doing this whole thing is that I don't feel like I have to be perfect to share this stuff with you guys. I just want to be honest because legit this makeup has been such a game changer for me. Okay, eyes are done. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows and this is the line brush. It's got the little spoolie end, so you can kind of like brush your eyebrows out. And I did have my eyebrows microbladed a few years ago. Um, they need to be touched up. You can kind of see where they're faded. Never in a million years did I think I would ever have my eyebrows microbladed, but I had my eyebrows done with um, like makeup done for my cousin Casey's wedding. And that was the first time anybody ever did my eyebrows, like filled them in or anything. And I was like, ooh, I love this. So I ended up talking to a friend who had her eyebrows done and went with it. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow color Oak. That's what I'm gonna be using to fill in my brows. Um, but like I said, you can also use your contour color, which is what most people do. Um, but basically, I'm just taking that line brush. I dipped it a little bit into my eyeshadow. And just to fill your brows in, you're just gonna kinda do it like lines. And then for mine, you can see where mine are faded from where I had my eyebrows done. And I'm just going to fill in those spots a little bit. And this oak color works perfectly on my eyebrows. So I love it. All right. And then, so I don't have to do too, too much since my eyebrows are microbladed. But um, this definitely helps. I probably need to go get them touched up and my brow girl will be like, yeah, you're supposed to come like once a year, but guess what? I don't have time for that. I don't have time. All right, so brows are basically done and I'm just going to brush them out again. That's done. All right. Um, last thing, this is another optional, is illuminator. So I've got honey, and then I think this one, let's pop it out. Let me show you how you can pop your tins out too. So you take one of your old caps, and you can just, let's see if I can turn this around. You take it, and you just place it underneath so you don't dip your finger in it, and you can just pull it right up and move them around however you want. Okay, so I'm going into this one. This one is called Angel. <laughs> This is a pretty shimmery, like, it's almost like a pinkish color, but usually I use the honey one. Um, so I'm going to take just a little bit, and this is just going to make you glow. And like I said, this is another just optional thing. You don't have to do this. I'm going to go down the, a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my, oh, I forgot to put lipstick on. Okay, so I'll do that in just a second. So then I'm going to just take and kind of blend that in. So I'm not like dotty, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, you could also put this like underneath, right up underneath your eyebrows too, and that looks really pretty. But it kind of just gives you a glow. I don't know if you can tell too much. Um, and then let's put some lip color on. I'm just gonna, let's go with this one. This is like a pretty pink. There's a few different um, lip and cheeks. Some of them are gloss, some of them are, um, I think, cream maybe? I don't know. But the gloss ones are great for your lips. I don't really recommend them on your cheeks as much if you have oily skin, okay? Because it might feel like a little bit greasy if you put gloss on your cheeks and you have oily skin. All right, so that is my whole face in my compact. The only other thing I have is mascara, which, funny story, Saint is the name of the brand of the makeup I use. And it used to be called mascara, but they don't even sell mascara. So I don't, um, I don't know why they called it mascara to start with. I can't remember the whole story, but they changed the name to Saint. And this mascara is the Tarte Tubing Mascara. I can link it for y'all. Um, I like it. I have ordered like four tubes of it so far, so I guess I like it. It's been great. Um, probably the most expensive mascara I've ever used. I don't think I've ever bought anything other than from like Target or Walmart before until I got this one. And actually when I bought it though, <laughs> 
it's originally like, I think it's like 23 bucks, maybe, or no, maybe it's more than that. I don't know, but when I got it, it was on sale for $10. So I got four of them. Actually, I got more than that because I did give some away um, in a little giveaway. But it's kind of hard for me to do my mascara on here without making a face. So just deal with it. I'm getting up close and personal. All right. It's so hard to talk and do mascara at the same time. And I'll put a little before and after picture too, so that way you guys can see how it all looks before and after. All right, so my whole face and makeup is done. The only thing I forgot to do was my setting spray, which I would have done um, after applying the actual makeup. I'm not gonna do it now because I'm probably gonna go take my makeup off in just a little bit so I can get ready for bed soon. Um, after, you know, cooking and the kids get home and all that kind of stuff. But, um, I actually didn't start using the setting spray until, um, we had gone to a baseball game and it was like a hundred degrees outside and I started sweating really bad and I could definitely tell that the cream makeup was feeling a little, you know, oily. So after that, I started using the setting spray because I actually already had it, I just never used it. So I just sprayed it onto my face and then I dabbed it with a beauty blender and the next time we went to the baseball field, it lasted all day. Didn't feel like I had anything on my face. It was crazy. So I definitely recommend the setting spray, especially if you're oily. Um, I also have, there's a setting powder, which I don't really use because I use the setting spray and I don't seem to need this too much. But this would be another great option, especially if it's really humid where you live um, or you just find that you're feeling like it's like slipping a little bit. You want to use a powder, a setting powder or use your setting spray. And you can, another fun trick is you can actually use your setting spray like a primer and spray it on before and then do your makeup and it's supposed to help your makeup last longer. But okay, I think I've talked your heads off. Um, but basically, this is all my makeup in one compact. Um, it's easy. I can take it with me on the go. Literally, look. I have all my brushes. I will say I have a lot of brushes. You don't necessarily need all these brushes. But I have all my brushes. This is what I have in my, in my makeup drawer. This is all my makeup, okay? My makeup, all my brushes, my mascara's in there, my compact, and then... I've got the beauty blender and then the setting spray. Look, all of my makeup can fit right here. Isn't that crazy? So can you imagine like when you're traveling and you have to throw all your makeup together really quick to put it in your makeup bag? So much easier. Or when you have to um, take the kids to carpool and you have somewhere to be right afterwards and you didn't have enough time to do your makeup because you literally wait till the very last second to get up before you have to leave and you have to do your makeup in the car now. So, super easy. I love it. It's been a game changer for me. I guess I could take the headband out even though I really need to wash my hair, you guys. Um, but if you need a color match still, just let me know. I can send you the color match form. Um, I will also have it um, in the description of the video, I will have the color match form for you and I will actually send you, I will text you all the colors that I recommend for your skin tone. Um, another great thing is there is a 30 day return policy. So you can either swap out your shades. So let's just say that you got your makeup in and it was a little too dark. Then you can actually swap out your shade and shade down and I would help you with that. I would help you, you know, which, which shade to go down to. Um, and then you can try that one. If you're absolutely not happy with it, then you can, you can actually return it as long as it's within 30 days from your order. So another thing I will say though, is I have a few friends who have done, who have tried the makeup and it does have, your skin has a little bit of an adjustment period, which I have a lot of frequently asked questions that I'll be posting tomorrow um, in the group. And so all those questions will be there. If you have any questions, you can leave them here on the video and I'll get back to you guys with all the answers and everything. But sometimes it does take a little bit of an adjustment, but I'm telling y'all, this makeup has been the best thing for my skin 
and I used to get breakouts all the time, all the time, like especially on my chin area, um, right around my nose, like all those areas, and I hardly ever have pimples anymore. And I'm not saying it's the makeup, maybe it's my skincare, I don't know, but I will say that this makeup is amazing, and for a mom who never wore makeup before, or hardly ever wore makeup, or hardly wore any makeup, I don't know, it's a game changer. Game changer, it just makes me feel put together. Um, I love it. So yes, if you want to color match, Allison, I'd love to color match you. If you guys want to color match, just let me know. You can either comment on this video. I will also put the link and everything so that way I can send you guys your colors. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Um, oh, so for the party, if you saw the very first post, there's a bingo board. I'm giving away a free eyeshadow brush to everyone. If you can, like whenever you complete that bingo board, you just, I think there's six things on the bingo board. If you complete the six, six things on that bingo board, you get a free eyeshadow brush from me. Um, and then I'm also doing a giveaway. So if, let's just say you don't get all of them done. I'm also doing a giveaway for the party too for $150 in free makeup. One of the perks of being an artist is that I get a lot of free makeup. I don't ever have to really pay for my makeup anymore because I use all my rewards to get my makeup. And I love giving it back to you guys, giving it away. So I'm going to do $150 in free makeup for one winner. And that's going to go off of all the comments and everything. So every time you comment on a post, that's an entry into the giveaway, okay? So I'm probably gonna announce that maybe Sunday. I'm gonna give a few extra days for you guys to catch up on all the posts and everything. And same thing with the bingo board. I think I put on there Friday it had to be done, but it will go to Sunday, so that way it gives you the weekend to get your bingo board all um, blacked out. So anyways, let's see. Oh, and another thing I wanted to tell y'all is I get rewards, but you guys as customers can also get rewards by either hosting a party, um, just a virtual thing, just like what we've been doing in this group. You can do a virtual party and you get hostess rewards based off of orders that come through in that party. You can get up to $500 in free makeup, which is amazing. And then you can also have your very own VIP link. So if you're gonna order from me, um, or if you've already ordered from me and you want a VIP link, this link is one that you would go through like your own little link. And it's just like when you go to a store, like let's just say you go to, um, I don't know, uh, what's the name of that place? Like Children's Place and you get clothes for your kids all the time and they have rewards, loyalty rewards programs. This is kind of the same thing. You just order through your own link. Or if you're referring your, you know, you refer someone, they can use your link and you get rewards um, that way. So it's kind of like rewards money for ordering through your own link. So that's pretty cool because you can get some free goodies. So anyways, if you want a VIP link or you want to host a virtual online class, then let me know. I can do that. Yay, Alicia. I'm so glad that you made it. And then, um... Kelly, yes, I think I need to get the whole family together and we just need to have a big old makeup party and I can just slap some makeup on all your faces. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna have another video tomorrow morning that you can actually save for your little tutorial or you can refer back to this one. I just know that I'm talking a lot. The video I'm sharing tomorrow is very short. <laughs> so I hope you guys um, find it helpful and let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if I can help you. Love you guys. I'm so glad that you were here. And if you're watching the replay, thank you guys for watching all the way back through. So I hope you all have a wonderful night. I'm going to go start cooking dinner before my kids get home. Bye.